Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this glowing particle logo vibe reveal animation in After Effects. Now it's all done procedurally, that means you can easily change the logo and all the animations will already be applied. Also you can save it as a preset, that means you can just simply drag and drop onto any logo and all the animations will be applied automatically. So let's see how to make this. So I turn after I fix and first let's see how this preset works. So if I just simply search for the preset here, I have saved it and I can just simply drag and drop onto whatever logo I have. And if I play, you can see all the animations are already applied and I don't have to do anything. So in this way, you can save this effect as a preset and all you have to do is just drag and drop onto whatever logo you have and you don't have to do anything. All the animations will already be applied. Now this preset is available on my Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider because you will get access to the tutorial project files and all the exclusive templates and this preset, which is available on my Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's see how to make this in our after effects so here i have this simple logo which is just a png image nothing else so i have imported this inside a composition and i have imported that composition inside this main one so once you have this all you have to do is just start applying some effects so first one we are going to apply cc particle system 2 and let's drag it onto this now we are going to change a couple of the settings so first i'm going to change the birth rate i'm going to set this to one and let's increase the producer and physics particles all of these we are going to change them one by one so first i'm going to increase the radius let's set this to let's say 33 and this one we can set this to like 20 or 23 whatever you want now if i press play you can see all the particles are already coming out but there are a couple of things that we have to change first i don't want them to be like this much chaotic so i'm going to change the velocity to 0.8 also let's lower down the gravity i want these particles to like move up but again it's completely up to you You can like make them go wherever you want so for that i'm going to just simply set this to negative 0.1 so that these particles are moving like slowly upwards like this now they are moving like very fast so we can add some resistance to them so let's just increase them and somewhere around this looks good to me perfect now direction is completely up to you i'm going to like make them go a little bit up so let's just simply set this to zero so all of these will like go towards the upside perfect so after that we can change how these particles look now there are a couple of presets that you can use so we have stars so if you want your particles to be look like star or we have cubes again it's completely up to you but for this one i'm going to set them to line now let's set the max opacity to 100 and also we have this option called source alpha inheritance now if i check this now the particles will be emitted only from where we have the logo so if i increase the producer like way up you can see that the particles are taking the shape of our logo which is exactly what we want now i'm happy with the particles and our next step is to animate them so here we have this producer we don't want them to like animate throughout this scene we basically want them to animate for a couple of seconds so i'm going to change the producer position which is this one and let's just move it to this side let's add a keyframe and i'm going to move let's say three seconds and after that i'm going to move it to the other side like that now if i press play you can see all the particles will be emitted only from where we have this producer or the logo again you will see we are not able to see the logo now in order to make it appear we can apply a cc composite effect and let's drag it on to this now under this we have to change a couple of settings so first i'm going to change this to composite original to add alpha now it will bring our logo back and you can see all the particles are applied only from where we have this logo perfect also we can play around with the birth and death color so the birth color we can make it like little bit of blue so that these are blue in color and as they are going away they will turn into whatever color we want i'm going to keep them to yellow so that they will originate as blue and as they are going away they will become yellow perfect so we have everything done our next step is to add some really nice glow to this so for that let's search for glow let's drag it on to this and i'm going to apply the glow effect like after this now there are a couple of settings that we have to change so the first thing is i'm going to lower down the threshold like a little bit not much and glow radius we can increase this to let's say 60 
or 65 somewhere around here intensity we can reduce it so i'm going to set this to 0.5 or 0.6 now i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and on this one we can increase the radius so let's just keep it somewhere around here now let's press ctrl d once again and onto this one we are going to again increase the radius we are basically creating a stack glow effect so let's just increase it quite a bit something like that let's duplicate it once again and on the last layer i'm going to set this to let's say 1000 so that we have this very nice and subtle glow like that so once you're happy with the glow our next step is to add the animation for the vibe which is very easy so we can search for another effect called cc scale wipe and let's drag it over here now if i increase the stretch amount you can see it will warp all of these and we can play around with the direction as well so first i'm going to set this to zero and now we can let's increase it a little bit and now play around with the settings let's set this to 90 and here you can see we are able to see the effect so I'm going to start from let's say over here and let's play around with the center point as well. So in the beginning, let's press U in the beginning. We can make it go to the left side like this. And as we are moving with the particles, we can make it go to the other side. We are basically doing the same thing which we did with the particles like that. Now we have to play with the stretch amount. So I'm going to just set this to 100 like this so if i press play you can see all of the stretch is already applied and we have our logo perfect now one thing that is missing is the shake if we can add a little bit of shake it will really enhance this effect so the shake effect is quite easy all you have to do is just search for transform effect let's drag it onto this and also let's search for slider controller let's drag it over here let's duplicate it because we need two instances now let's hold on the alt key and click on this position stopwatch let's type wiggle under the rounded braces we are going to select the first slider then add a comma then let's add the second slider like that now we can control the wheel expression using the slider controller let's add keyframe for them so right now both of them are at zero zero let's go to somewhere in the middle and i'm going to set this to let's say five comma fifty and let's go back to this and i'm going to set this to 0 comma 0 now if i press play you can see we have added this very nice shake now if you think that this is too much then you can play around with these values let's set this to 50 comma 5 and basically change the amplitude and frequency you can see now the shake is very subtle and it is looking nice perfect so i think we are done with all of these now there is one more thing that you can do before we save this as a preset let's search for gradient color four color gradient and we can basically drag it like after these particles so what this will do is it will add your colors if you want if you don't want then you can like hide that but otherwise you can just play around with them and you can change the colors however you want like this and you can play around with different color settings and make sure what looks good so for now i'm going to hide this so we are going to save it as a preset so that we can change it in future as well so once you're happy with your animation you can save this as a preset now it's very easy all you have to do is just simply select all of them make sure that you have selected all of these effects and after that go to animation click on save animation preset now it will open up this dialog where you can save your preset so just type whatever name you want and after that you have to save it inside this directory which is your c drive user and username document adobe your adobe after effects version under there we have this user preset folder and here you can save it as whatever name you want and after that just click on save now if you're using mac then you can just simply search online you will find the directory where you can save the user presets as well so once you are done with this all you have to do is just simply go to effects and preset then you can right click and we here we have this refresh list option just click on that and once it has refreshed the list you can just simply search the effect so for example i have already saved it i'm going to delete all of them and let's just simply search for the preset so just type the name that you have saved here my preset is so i'm going to drag and drop and now if i press play you can see 
the animations are already applied and i don't have to do anything now the best thing is this is completely procedural so if i go inside i can just simply change this and i can use whatever logo i want or not only logo i can also type text so let's type hello so here we have our text now if i go back and just press play you can see the animations and everything is already applied and we have the same animation now with our text so this is how you can like create these kind of animation and save them as a preset and again if you want to download the preset you can just go to my patreon and over there you will get access to this preset and along with all the other tutorials files and exclusive templates that are available only so make sure to check it out link that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one